The commonest type of hernia occurs in the groin. Now the groin is the area just above the hip crease um, and there are two types of hernia that can form in this area. One is called an inguinal hernia and the other is called a femoral hernia. And they occur because there are two areas of natural weakness, one called the inguinal canal and the other called the femoral canal. And hernias can protrude down both of those areas. There are two types of groin hernia repair, the open and the laparoscopic. The open hernia repair is the longer established. It's done through an incision in the groin of about 10 to 12 centimetres under either local or general anaesthetic and usually as a day case. Now with the keyhole operation, it's a little bit more complicated. You need some extra equipment in theatre and it's always done under general anaesthetic. It takes the same amount of time as doing an open operation in theatre, about half an hour. But instead of working on the outside, you work on the inside. So the difference between the keyhole operation and the laparoscopic operation is in the open operation you have one incision of 12 centimetres and in the keyhole operation you have three incisions, each of about a centimetre long or slightly smaller. So with the open operation, the chance of injuring something that might be found in the hernia sac is about one in a thousand operations. Where the keyhole operation, the chance of injuring something in the tummy cavity might be six in a thousand operations. And that's an important consideration for some patients who may feel that although the risk is small, it's an increased risk too high to take, and they prefer the open operation. Recovery time from the keyhole operation is slightly shorter. So instead of needing painkillers regularly for five days, it might only be three days. Um, you might be driving again from about five to 10 days onwards rather than seven to, seven to 14 days. And most people are comfortable at home with everything they do sometime around the 10 day mark and are ready to go back to work with a commute somewhere between two and three weeks. So the recovery time is slightly shorter. Now that doesn't make much difference when you're only doing one hernia on one side. However, when you're thinking about operating on two hernias simultaneously, and 5% of patients have a bilateral hernia in, in the groin, i.e. one on both sides, if you were to do that open, then your recovery time would be quite long, perhaps four to even six weeks whereas the keyhole uh, surgery, the recovery time doesn't change. So therefore, with bilateral hernias, the laparoscopic or keyhole operation is recommended over the open operation for simultaneous combined repair of hernias on both sides. <laughs>